Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have got a mammoth cleaning task on my hands today. When I tell you my house is a mess, it is a mess. And now I know that mess looks different for all of us, but for me, this is messy and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> um, I actually got back from Copenhagen on Monday and the kids also broke up from school on Monday. So we have had a bit of a full house this week as well as my sister is currently staying. So there's just lots of bodies and things just kind of getting left in places. And yeah, it's just, it's not doing thing, doing it for me, if you know what I mean. So I really want to get on top of it. The kids are out today. My sister's gone down to London. So I have got a day of just me in the house and that always means that I'm going to be putting on those rubber gloves and I'm going to start cleaning. I'm also hosting this weekend so that's another really good reason as to why I need to get on top of it because we've got all the family coming around for Easter and yeah I don't want them to come around and see the house the way that it is so um, I'm going to have a good tidy up, a good clean and get everything sorted. I've actually put on my Apple Watch as I would like to see how many calories I can burn. Like as you may know I love going to the gym and over the next few days I just don't have the time to get there so I thought to kind of help make myself feel a bit better I would set this watch and see if I can count how many calories I'm burning and just think do you know what cleaning is a workout and because I do believe that but yeah I thought I would share that with you too so let's just get cleaning shall we I won't waffle on anymore let's get into it so as I'm treating this as a workout I thought I would just do a couple of little stretches and hype myself up before we get going and then it is straight in with a sink clean now if you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, you will know that sink cleans are my favorite thing. I literally just love spraying this down and wiping it and removing any of those watermarks that have built up. I always get asked what product I use and I simply just use like a Sephora multi-purpose spray or any multi-purpose spray and it just leaves my draining board so, so shiny and looking fresh. On this occasion, I didn't actually use any other products because I did clean the sink the day before for an Instagram reel, so it didn't really need too much doing. But I did also make sure that with my draining board that I wiped down and used some fairy just within the little section that slides underneath. And as always, because I know I'll get asked, the draining board is from Swan and it is linked in my bio if you would like to shop it. So with the sink and draining board all clean, we're just gonna move on to the worktops. I'm just gonna show you this corner here because less is more, right? At the end of the day, you don't need to see me wiping down all my work surfaces. But what I do is I just move everything out of the way and then wipe it all down with some multi-purpose spray and a microfiber cloth again before placing everything back. Before moving on to my cooker hood, now this is actually taking a proper battering. My sister loves cooking so much more than I do and I've just found that it's got really, really greasy. So again, just using multi-purpose spray and the same microfiber cloth, I just went around all of the glass on here and I actually removed the extractor fan thing at the top, I think that's what it's called, and I just popped that in the dishwasher whilst also wiping down all the doors and stuff behind because I do find they get greasy as well. Then it was time to just empty the bin and let me tell you that recycling bin gets emptied about two times a day. Don't ask me why, but it does. And then I could not ignore this huge pile of washing. That is a build up of holiday washing and the kids being at their dad's. He tends to just send home a nice suitcase full of things for me to clean, which is lovely. And then I popped my bedding in this morning. I've now taken that out and I hung it out to dry as it was a nice day. However, it did later rain and then it was all wet and I was back to square one again. So thank you, British springtime. So that's another load of washing in and I left the cupboard open, which I didn't actually realize. Anyway, moving on to the table. Um, this table I absolutely love. I've had for such a long time, but it is in, it's looking a little bit sad basically. Um, it's kind of just got like loads of marks on it, as you'll see where kind of the varnish is coming off. So a job for this summer is probably to sand that back and to get a new layer of varnish on there. So if anyone has any tips that they would like to share with me about how to do that, I would be forever grateful because I haven't the foggiest. But yeah, you can basically see what side of the table gets used the most. And that's the side with the bench and that's the side where the kids sit. So it looks a bit like that. 
Anyway, I wiped this down with, again, some multi-purpose spray sort of to disinfect it. And then I went in with a sort of, I want to say it's like an oily polish. And it just kind of helps buff out some of those marks and just refreshes the table ever so slightly. Then it was time to redress the table. And I couldn't actually find the runner that I love. So I dug this one out and don't come at me because I know I should have ironed this, but I didn't. And I really wanted to try and make some sort of like cute effect in the middle as you can see here but yeah I had to scrap that because it just looked a bit poo so I went back and just laid it out and thought for the time being this will do because no doubt in a matter of hours a drink will get spilt on it or food will end up on it so I will then dig out my table runner that I love so this is just temporary before anyone says you should have ironed it I know I know but it's just temporary anyway placemats back in flowers in the middle and we are nearly out of the kitchen. We have just got the flooring to go. So we're gonna run the hoover around using my shark vacuum, which I absolutely love. You can call it a hoover if you want to, or you can call it a vacuum. Let me know in the comments what you call it. I do tend to say I'm going to run the hoover round rather than run the vacuum round. I don't ask me why, but over on Facebook, I got absolutely slated for calling it a hoover. It's a shark, we know that, it's a vacuum. But in this instance, for me, I like to say I run the hoover round. As I was actually hoovering this section, it did occur to me that I perhaps shouldn't have dressed the table and instead put the chairs on top of the table so that I could get more freely under the table. But you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing and I wasn't going to undo all of my hard work. So we just pulled the chairs out and put the hoover underneath the table to soak up or suck up, should we say, any of those crumbs that are there from earlier in the morning. You can see my cat as well in the window watching me. She's desperate to come in, bless her. I do let her in after this, but I was just conscious that I actually really wanted to mop the floors as well. So I just waited a little while longer. She was okay, don't worry. Then it was time to get my mop out. This is a new mop, which I absolutely love. But as you're about to see, I'm yet to fully understand how the bucket works because there's a bit that goes over the top and it only fits one way and it wasn't that way. So yeah, I had to pour all of that out again and I was just like, oh gosh, what a waste. Anyway, I then put some more of the flash um, floor stuff back into the uh, bucket and started again. And I know it's a waste, please, I'm so sorry, but you know, needs must. And this mop and bucket thing is so good. So one side you like wet the mop and then the other side it dries it to literally the most perfect, perfect like amount of water on this microfiber pad. I just find it so, so good. So yeah, I'm now just gonna like mop all my floors and make sure they are all nice and clean. I do find mopping the floors a little bit of something that I don't do very often. I'm off, I do get the spray mop out quite a bit, but to actually mop the floors is not something that I do on a regular. Terrible and shocking, I know. So here you can actually see a bit better like how that mechanism works within the mop and I just find it great. It's very similar to like the Vileda spin mop, but yeah, just with more of a microfiber pad rather than an actual mop head. So after doing the main kitchen area, I did move over to the dining area as myself and my toddler went out in the garden the other day. So there was a lot of little like footprints lingering over here. And there was also a little bit of sand too, which I luckily had hoovered up earlier. So one thing I have realized watching this video back is I need to get better at my mopping technique. I need to actually mop and then move backwards. But I was juggling tripods, so you know, let's just give give myself the benefit of the doubt on that. Anyway, so cleaning the kitchen took me an hour and we are now moving into the downstairs loo. This room is kind of out of bounds for day-to-day -day use because basically it gets blocked, we have loads of trouble with the drains and I just get fed up of it like overflowing and looking disgusting. <laughs> um, so yeah, but on the occasion when we do have guests around, it does tend to get used. So I thought I'd go in there and give it a good clean. I'm just using one of the pumice stones to remove any lime scale that builds up because we do live in a hard water area. So they are really handy for that. And then I wanted to use one of these pink stuff foaming toilet cleaners. Made sure I moved my iPhone closer for that because it's so satisfying to watch when you put it on a video. Um, and then I went over and wiped down all the toilet seat and everything else, just using a microfiber cloth and some bathroom spray, which I think is actually Zaflora as well. It smells so, so good. 
Then my last job was to just clean this mirror. I used some window clean, I think it is, um, and that just made that come up really sparkling and clean. And then next up was just another quick vacuum and I then go back in with the mop and just clean the floors. This is what I mean about this mop. It doesn't like let out too much water because these floors are actually hardwood. So I don't like to get a lot of water on them, but I do find this is just the perfect amount and it leaves them looking all fresh and clean. So we are kind of moving in a bit of a circle here and we're now going back into the living room and my first job was to put away all of my toddler's toys. Again, I know I should probably get her to help me with this, but sometimes it is just easier to do it yourself and a lot faster. I have sped this up a bit because I think it took me about 10 minutes, which isn't too bad. I tried to be, I tried to organize things basically, and then I just actually gave up and I thought, you know what, she's only gonna pull it all out when she gets home. And you know what, within about two minutes of her getting home, she was like, why are all my Barbies away? And then pulled them all out again. So. Pointless task, but for the short time, it did look very nice and clean over in that part of the living room. Then I moved on to my fireplace. I just love my fireplace so much. Even looking at it here, I'm like, oh, I love you. Um, I just wiped that down with some furniture polish and then put all my little spring flowers back up, which looked really, really cute. This stove is actually electric and I do get asked about it a lot. Um, it's just really handy. I don't ever turn it on and have any heat pumping out of it, but in the winter time, when I actually turn the lights on, it does look really, really effective with the real look logs that are underneath. And now for my favorite part, something that I just adore doing, don't ask me why, I think it's therapy really for me, and that is plumping my sofa cushions. I absolutely love to give these a great big whack. Now, if anyone else is the same as me and loves to essentially beat up their sofa, let me know in the comments because I just find it so satisfying and you can really, really like just go full hog on it. And it then looks amazing afterwards. This sofa is new. I've only had it for about six months. And in comparison to my old sofa, I do find it needs a lot of upkeep, but I don't really mind. It's so handy and it actually wipes really well as well, despite being a linen material so it's nice to keep clean and it looks super smart and it's really really comfortable i love it me and that cushion there we were having a fight we just couldn't get it right anyway i finished that off with some febreze fabric refresher because i just love the smell of it and then went in with a nice little vacuum hoovered up all my rug i didn't need to pull that up because i actually cleaned my carpets only a few days ago so i knew that it was nice and clean under there and just went around and vacuumed everything, left some glorious hoover lines in the carpet. And to finish off, I just sprayed the carpet with some carpet spray. And that, my friends, is a wrap. <laughs> um, it has been one hour and 30 minutes. I'm not sure if it's gonna focus on this, but it's been one hour and 30 minutes. And let me just push this and see if we can get it to focus. Hang on, one minute. Maybe it will focus, maybe it won't, but we have burnt 477 calories. Come on, little camera focus, there we go. One hour and 30 minutes and 477 calories. My heart rate is up. It's hot, sweaty work um, doing this, but I'm really, really happy. The downstairs of the house is looking so much better. I'm not gonna bother too much with the upstairs because it's not actually that bad. It's just my bedroom where I need to put those sheets back on. Um, the downstairs living room looks really, really nice and it smells so good in here too. It just feels so much better when you've done a little dust. So that is a wrap on this video. I am really enjoying YouTube at the moment. So if anyone has any requests for things that they would like to see, please let me know. I am hoping, fingers crossed, to do a house tour very soon so you guys can have a good look around and we can talk about some changes that have been happening because it's been a long time since I've done one of those. So yeah, I will leave this video here. Again, let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you all again very soon. Take care and have a lovely bank holiday weekend. Bye.